Hello everybody, welcome to Coco's Crochet. I'm Litsa and this is Coco and tonight we're bringing you our podcast number 29. That's pretty unbelievable, isn't it? We're nearly a third of a year in since we first started. Thank you every single one of you for joining us and hanging out with us. We really do appreciate it. Coco, as usual, is waiting for her little treat. Tonight she's got her absolute favourite, which is chicken and cucumber. And she shall have a little munch on that while we have a chat. So she shall say woof woof to all of you and I will pop her down just now. Just one moment. She cannot wait. There we go. She can enjoy that like she usually does. And you'll hear her snorting away in the background. And if she doesn't have a sleep, which I hope she does have a little rest, she can come back, pop in at the end and say um, woof woof to you. So how have you all been? Well, I hope and busy crocheting. I have been. Um, it's been an interesting week, but I have a few things to share with you, which is wonderful. And why don't we start off like we always do with our Tile of the Week Thursday. So any of the other newcomers that aren't familiar with a Tile of the Week Thursday, it um, it is a cowl or a crochet along, which was quite organically started by Sam and Mike at Mantha's Makes. I will link their um, YouTube channel down below. They have a beautiful playlist on all the tiles. It is so enjoyable to watch them present and you know talk about their tiles. That's how I actually discovered their channel. And um, I highly recommend if you haven't already joined them, please go and say hello to them and I'm sure you're going to stay. Now, this is the book that we're all working from. 100 crochet tiles so we've all committed to making all 100 tiles or as many of them as we can i jumped on at tile number 25 and we are currently on tile number 38 so let me show you the tile for this week i think it's called the mandalita let me have a little look yes it is so let me just pop that one down and try to show you the pad the tile without showing you too much of the pattern now what's wonderful about all of these tiles they come with a written pattern and also um, a graph which is wonderful because you can you know follow along with one or the other this week's tile was 12 rows i will show you my tile in a moment and give you my thoughts on it now the only thing about this book those of you that aren't familiar it does fall apart i purchased mine on amazon but i do know that um, you can purchase it on kindle as well which might be an op better option for you depending on what you prefer so this is my tile now i will also show you josephine's in just a moment but i'll talk to you about my tile very very quickly so i all my tiles i'm using the marvel eight ply yarn and it is a dk weight yarn it's 100 percent acrylic and i'm using the same six or seven colors throughout and my five millimeter hook now with this tile i found it quite enjoyable for a while and i thought it's a very pretty interesting tile it did challenge me because I had to learn how to crochet in the third loop of the half double crochet, which I hadn't done before. And I did realize that when I'm creating just slip stitches, and it did use quite a few from around nine, row nine onwards, that I need to be a little bit looser with my um, crocheting because I am fairly tight crocheter because it was pretty much near impossible to get that hook through because we were decreasing so um, we're using a single crochet along the top here and something that should have really taken five to ten minutes took like an hour I was you know really a challenge but I didn't let it beat me so that's my tile of the week and my impressions I do quite like my color combination this time round let me just show you josephine's now as always josephine does beautiful um, tiles and she sends them in to us as well and um, she's been using a color pack from Ophelia Talks, which she purchased a few years ago. So all of her tiles, how gorgeous is this? There we go. Are uh, going to, um, sorry, the light's a little bit in the wrong place today. Are going to have the same color scheme as well for her. Oops, oh, I've gone too far, guys. That's for later. Now, let me show you Josephine's tile and my tile side by side. We really enjoy doing that. So here we are here. 
it's always amazing when you look at the different color combinations how different like what pops in the tile i didn't mind doing the popcorn stitch it was quite enjoyable which was surprising um, we have done it i think once before in a previous tile so thank you so very very much josephine for making this a fun little segment um, for our um, weekly catch up i really do appreciate it and as always your tile is gorgeous so thank you so much now what else have we been working on um oh of course um our crochet along our cow which is very exciting because this saturday the 29th of april um september colors for those who are just doing the colors with us um you know they'll be revealed and also anyone who's um joining us for the stitch sampler will also get in the new stitch released so oh here's my cow just a little um, reminder what you know these um, August colors were there they are there it's getting really really big now and quite heavy I'm actually loving it so what you guys need to do before I showcase a few of the um, blankets that have been sent in to us get your basket or box or whatever um, you keep your scraps in get it ready um, get your blanket ready your hook and sit down with me on saturday so we can um chat about the new colors and the stitch i am so very excited to bring that to you and i do believe that'll be a little stitch tutorial to go along with it i just need to get that sorted before um, i reveal the colors so let me put my glasses on so i can read a few little bits and pieces from our wonderful yarny friends that have sent in their um cows for us so very very first is raylene let's see oh there we go it's getting so big now so Raylene says that these are her August colors <clears throat> excuse me got a bit of a frog in my throat today and she said that when she went to answer the door and she came back she found her fur baby look at this gorgeous little fellow buddy just sitting there and she said that buddy is 14 and a half years young <laughs> And he's a Jack Russell cross, cross Shih Tzu. There he is there. Hello, buddy. Welcome to the family. Coco loves having all her new friends. And then we have, let me see here, where are we? Okay, so Deborah, she has sent in. So this photo is from January till July. And then she says in the second photo, wow, all stretched out. She has it from, can I get it a different way? Oh, that, that's better. That's better. There we go. And that is um, January to August. And she said to, that she is using, excuse me, I'm trying to read my notes. She is using Karen Simply Soft Yarn. She didn't watch the spoiler so that she can be surprised with what stitch we are going to do next. And Deborah is having a lot of fun with our cow. And she did say that she didn't have any variegated um, in the Simply Soft. Um, so she used Sunshine Yellow. And she said that's because without the sun, there would be no rainbows. I love it when people think of um, reasons for the colours that they're using and what it means to them. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for that, Deborah. And now our next um, blanket comes to us from our lovely friend. Oops. Our lovely friend, oh, here it is here, Sally. Now, Sally um, said she used the colours lavender. So there's your lavender. Lipstick, I love that. The grey, and she used the James C. Brett Party Time in the colour rainbow as well for the August colours. So thank you so very, very much for sending that in, Sally. Now, Sally and I had a little chat um in relation to whether or not we were thinking about putting a border on our blankets the one with those of us that are doing the stitch sampler blanket so we shall all chat about it um on saturday when we reveal the um, september colors and stitch so you know please be you know catch up with us then so that we can discuss it further but sally and i had a little chat and i'll let you know what we're chatting about as well and we'll listen to your thoughts of course and then last but not least the lovely josephine has sent us her beautiful colors for august as well 
and there they all are and I love the um, rainbow colour there. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Josephine. Now, um, it, some of you have already posted, maybe posting in um, Insta on Instagram at hashtag Cocos Crochet Cal 2023. If you guys haven't already been across to see them, please do so. I don't think there were any updates um, since last week for August. But if you haven't gone to have a look, please do so. There are some beautiful blankets sitting there for everyone to look at and admire. So that's um, our cowl and everyone's beautiful blankets. They really are growing now, aren't they? I mean, mine is getting very, very long, as I said last week. You know, it's nearly my whole height. So I'm guessing after we put September colours in, it'll definitely be as tall as me. So I'm very excited about that. Um, now... What have I been working on, guys? Well, it hasn't really changed much since last week because those of you um, that were with me last week will probably remember that I am trying to crochet for the Mother's Day consignment that I have, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. So I've been working on water bottle holders. And coincidentally, so has Josephine. I swear we live parallel lives, us two. If only we live closer together, we can just hang out. Let me show you Josephine's before I show you mine. And Josephine's made three and they're absolutely gorgeous. And she is going to be using them in the yard when she's working out, like in her garden and things like that. So look at these gorgeous colours that Josephine selected. Which way are we going to see? What's the best way to show you? I really love that one. I love them all. They're absolutely gorgeous. And she, um, Josephine said that she quite enjoyed um, crocheting them as well. So let me just, here we are. Yes, she says that um, she'll use them when she's gardening and she really, really likes them. So that is so awesome. I'm so happy with that. Now, I'll show you how many I've made. So last week when I saw you, I had made four. So those of you that don't know or, you know, that are brand new with us, this is my go-to um, for the water bottle holders. And it fits both, you know, the, you know, metal ones or just the plastic bottle. They're really good. Now, if you make them for yourself and you have a bigger um, size container, all you need to do is possibly do another round down the bottom so that it fits the base and you know around your bottle so just be mindful of that that's a nice way to tweak the pattern and it is by strong earth creations the pattern she does a beautiful tutorial but i i do know that that does work you know making it bigger down the bottom because my girlfriend at work her daughter needed one for her like she's got like a huge um container for her water bottle holder water bottle holder <laughs> and I made her one and it really did work. I wish I'd kept a, a photo of it, but that doesn't matter. You can, you get the idea. So it's very, very simple to customize it is what I'm getting at to your size water bottle. But this, the one that she, the young girl creates um, fits pretty much all the mainstream sizes, including the disposable water bottles, which is wonderful. Now, last week I had made four and I've been making them using this beautiful 60% cotton and 40% acrylic yarn in a variety of colors. I absolutely love this yarn. And as I've said before, I hope they haven't stopped making. I might have to go online and see if I can find it because it's my favorite yarn for um, coasters and water bottle holders and things like that. Now, it does say to use a four millimeter hook, but I use my 4.5 millimeter hook when I'm creating um, my water bottles. So last week I had four and this week I've been busy, guys. Look, it looks like a jellyfish, doesn't it? <laughs> I think so anyway. So I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine here. And I've still got to put handles on these two. So that's 11, 12, 13, 14. So I've got to put handles on these ones. 
and um you know it'd be great if i could get them up to 20 but it's just that i keep starting other projects but at the end of the day i still have to make some coasters so i'll definitely finish these and see how we go now i did try to make one in this yarn which i absolutely love this shadow ply it's got the same stats you know the i'm sure that it's got the 60 percent um cotton and 40 percent acrylic oh my glasses got stuck excuse me so let me have a look yeah again 60 percent um cotton 40 percent acrylic same um size hook it recommends but this yarn is absolutely gorgeous and i love it for wearables so although it does look beautiful it's a little bit softer so i'm not quite sure if it'd be strong enough to hold the water bottle when it's full so i might make one and see how i go with it at the very least i might keep it for myself so i just thought i'd show you that one as well and what a difference like even though the stats for the, you know, I was going to say the ingredients, the components of what the yarn is made of, the two different fibres, you get a very different um, result and a very different yarn. So I just thought I'd mention that to you guys. So there, that's like a, some of them are finished um, objects, but I still, you know, um, continuing with that little project for a little while longer i'll probably do a little roundup video for all of you when i've created all of um the items before i take them to the store now the other thing that i've finished which i absolutely love this blanket i started it last week it's just a giant granny square that's what it is so here we are here let me show you the border because i did a little scallop edge and I use six balls for this one. And it's this gorgeous little baby chenille yarn. It is 100% polyester. It's about 90 metres, I think, per ball. And I used four of the um, natural colour and um, two of the peach. And so, he, oh, well, you've seen the colours. What am I saying? So I really enjoyed making this little one. This one's going to go across to our crochet for the community project which is fast approaching to its close the end of the month is coming near and then i'll do a huge um video to show you all of the amazing things that we'll be um sending across to the, um, the community center there so that's that one finished now some of you may recall <laughs> that i did say that my son's fiance um, her cousin had a little baby girl and they're off to see her in june so she did request that I make her a blanket using the exact same colours that I just showed you. But originally she was thinking of something very, very plain and simple. Um, I did show her that as soon as I started crocheting a double crochet or even like a V-stitch, definitely a double crochet, it just disappeared and it just looked basically like that. To me, it just looked like a ball of yarn. So when she saw that finished little blanket, she said it was okay for me to go ahead and create another blanket for her, pretty much identical. I am going to make it a little bit bigger. So basically, it's just a granny square that I turn, you know, every time I, you know, come to the end. So that way it'll be a nice square. And it is the squishiest yarn. If any of you um, haven't had the pleasure of, you know, holding this yarn, I can guarantee you that it is going to be one of the softest yarns that you would um, have you know play with but for me it is very difficult to um, do stitches that you have to go on top of the stitch that's why I like going into the chain so I think this is the perfect perfect um, stitch for it the granny stitch although the V stitch was working as well but that's another um, day that I'll show you one if I create one as a V stitch but for now that's my little whip um, other than that, what else have I been working on? I didn't bring it upstairs to show you and I apologise, but I will bring it to you hopefully finished next week. I've got a, a hexagons that I had made a while back and I had to add a few more and I need to um, join them all so that I can have a little blanket ready for the community, um, crocheting for the community project as well. So I really need to get on to finish that one, you know, finishing that one this weekend. And um, so that's pretty much what I've been crocheting this week. But... I do have the exciting news for anyone that hasn't seen our video. And if you haven't, please go and watch our video on, you know, um, our roundup of our adventure at the Royal Easter Show. And for those of you that don't know, little baby Dana's outfit 
got third prize at the Royal Easter Show. So I'm very, very, very proud to share that with you. The whole experience was so much fun, but bringing home, oops, let's balance her. This ribbon was pretty much, you know, an unexpected bonus. It was just so amazing. So all of you that have been the best cheerleaders, which is pretty much all of you, I just want to thank you for making it so special for us. Um, I really, really did enjoy, um, you know, the whole experience. So please go and see the video if you haven't already done so. Now, I do have some makes that I want to share with you, showcase some more makes. So I've already showed you Josephine's awesome um, water bottle holders. And we have another couple of um, friends that have sent something through to us. But before I go off topic, the Royal Easter Show, one of our Yarni friends, Mina, who is a Sydney cider, she actually went to the show and she found all of my um, items that I had, um, you know, all of my entries, I should say. And there was one missing that I hadn't had a photo of. But guess what? She took a photo and she sent it to me. So I will show it to you for proof that, although I know you all believe me, I just wanted to make sure that you knew that there it was. So here is my, so there. that's how it was displayed. Oh my goodness, I've got to stop touching this. Okay, let's take two. So there it is how it was displayed. And it was my Anyway Filet Blanket. And there it is there, that little white one. So thank you so much, Mina, for sending that through. I, I really appreciate it because I needed that for my, you know, little scrapbook that I'm keeping or my crochet journal. So thank you very, very, very much for that. And um, as I said, I shall keep it for future, you know, reference. Now, let's get on to showcasing some more makes. Now, our friend Eleni and her gorgeous fur baby Olive wanted to say hello. And um, Eleni uh, crocheted a, a new little jumper because winter's coming on here in Sydney, Australia. Um, a little jumper for Olive. And there she is there wearing it. Now, I do have a few little stats on it. Let me grab my glasses. So Eleni told me that um, this little jumper was made with 100% acrylic. And I'd like to show you the stitch closer because I've never seen that stitch before. So 100% acrylic, 5.5 millimeter hook. And the YouTube channel that she watched was Jenny Kate, C-A-T-E. I'll look it down in the description box. And this is called the Thicket Stitch. Very, very interesting. Very, very pretty. So thank you for sending that through, Eleni Moore. Um, so that's that one. And now our fr my girlfriend, Simone, she made this snood. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Now, let me just show you. It is so soft. So soft. So here is, where is it? So here's the bit that goes over your head. There it is there. So pretty. Look at the colours and I'll tell you all the stats now. And then there's like the infinity scarf part of it there. It does wrap around about two or three times depending on the look that you want. If you want it closer to the neck or a bit um, lower. So um, let me show you this yarn up closer so you can see the gorgeous colours. Now... Um, Simone said she used a seven millimeter hook and um, three skeins of lime brand landscapes in Harvest Moon. And she used a combination of two video tutorials to make this. I think the, um, the top part was by Bag O'Day and Wilma Westenberg was the um, other part of it. Um, so I will link both those um, YouTubers for you down below in, in case you want to go and visit them and see if you want to create something similar. But this Lime Brand um, uh, Landscapes yarn is so gorgeous and so, so very, very soft, beautiful. So thank you very much, Simone, for sharing that with us. Absolutely um, appreciate that you send that through to us now speak, speaking of simone her sister lisa i have to give her a little shout out so lisa hello thank you so much for your love and support now lisa has been watching um coco and i from the very start and she had never crocheted in her life so very very recently 
she bought herself some yarn and a hook and she decided she's going to learn how to crochet. Now, can you see how happy I am, Lisa? So she is currently making a granny square. We have had two or three sessions here together and it has been so wonderful. And she did promise me that the minute that she's finished it, she'll send me a photo. She might even wanna share with you. So I just thought that I would share that with you because that's what it's all about. You know, getting the inspiration to pick up a hook and some yarn to create something gorgeous for family and friends. So thank you, I just wanted to share that with you. So Lisa, we're all your cheerleaders right now. You've got this, we know you can do it. I can't wait to see your finished granny square onwards and upwards. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I can't think of anything else that I need to share with you right now. Um, we've had an interesting week, um, a challenging week. The only thing that I want to challenge me at the moment is crochet, but um, I think that it was a real test for me this week. Um, you know how we always say that crochet is good for our mindfulness and it centers us and um, you know you're in the moment and you just forget everything it's almost like meditation well let me tell you I put it to the test this week and crochet rose to the occasion and really did um, perform as promised so I just wanted to make sure that you all knew that it isn't just words when I say or I'm sure when you say that crochet is something that is so amazing and um, we really can't do without it, can we guys? I certainly can't. So I'm very grateful that I've been blessed with the gift um, of crochet, which has brought um, my family and friends community even wider with you guys now. Um, reading all your emails and your comments certainly did get me through this week as well. Um, so I just wanna thank each and every one of you for being there for me without even knowing that you were and um, of course my family and friends um, they've been you know the safety net and all the love that we've needed this week so um, let's not end on a dibby downer because it hasn't been um, at all like that just a challenging week that's all that it's been and crochet has been the savior let me tell you so on that note I'm just going to wish you all um, a wonderful week ahead. I will see you all on Saturday. I am very, very excited, um, just as much as you all are, for the new colour reveal and, um, you know, to get our stitches on and our rows. And anyone that's doing, you know, like a corner to corner or whatever else they're making, I'm very excited to see um, your blankets grow as well. Um, Coco is um going to the beauty parlor in a couple of weeks so she's really starting to think hmm this four to five weeks because usually she goes four weeks now she's going to go five weeks with the cooler months coming but let me tell you it's been very warm today and tomorrow is going to skyrocket again which tells me <coughs> excuse me that we're going to get some rain i believe anyway i've gone on a whole other tangent definitely not crochet related so i shall leave you all now to either you know, say good night or good morning or good afternoon. Take care, everybody. Coco is um, having a little disco nap, so she says woof woof to you all. I say take care, and we shall see you all in another video. Bye bye for now.